Well, made it to the junkyard and found the doghouse inside the bus still. So that's freaking sweet because uh, I didn't want to buy one of these because I had a pile of them. Uh, had a pile of them and uh, almost threw this one away. So should have had this here when I was trying to set the cab where it needs to go before I made all these body mounts, but um, I didn't. So you can see it's not going to line up, not going to work. So I've got a couple of different options here. Um, I can keep this doghouse or I can fabricate something out of sheet metal, um, which actually might be easier since this is all exactly pretty much where I want it. It'll be a lot easier to do that. The other thought was maybe cutting the firewall across this lip, bolting the new, bolting the flange back up to the uh, doghouse here where it needs to go and then filling that gap all the way around with uh, sheet metal. Um, the problem is, is that's kind of time consuming. And to be honest with you, I wanna put this dash in here and drive this thing out of here today. Um, just because it's a, be a milestone. Um, and to do that, um, I'd have to take the cab back off, which isn't a big deal. Um, all the fabrication involved in it um, to get all that set up. So I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Um, the problem is, is the cylinder head, cylinder head back there hits the doghouse once it's up tight. So obviously we've got a couple inches. Well, we definitely don't have a couple inches back here. So um, that ain't gonna fly. So uh, I think. To fabricate one, um, I'm not cutting the firewall. I'm not doing anything like that. All the cutting is basically outside of the truck. Um, so if I were to cut this here and move that back, obviously I'd want to take the cab off because I'd probably just break out the plasma cutter and just cut it. But obviously we don't want sparks and all that crap flying around in here. So um, uh, there's a lot of pieces and parts involved. So I think what I'm gonna do now, uh, I really like that doghouse though. I mean, it just looks, it just looks the part. I guess the other option too is to build an L-shaped or a, I'm like a C-shaped channel that basically mimics the gap here. Then that could bolt in or weld in or whatever. And uh, then this doghouse can bolt to that. That's an option too. I just, I like the doghouse cause it's clean. Um, sheet metal work it just won't unless I put a ton of time into it isn't gonna look that clean so um, uh, geez I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do biggest thing I wanted to do was uh, I got some seam sealer so this for sure needs fixed yeah, one way or another doesn't matter how but that needs fixed for sure but then I can go through and seam seal everything and paint this firewall I've got the school bus yellow paint so Kind of wanted to get the firewall painted and uh, get all the components reattached to it. So that way I could drive this thing out. So um, maybe the firewall will be a later date. I'm not sure. Gosh, that sucks. Well, I guess I'll fix this floor, even though that's kind of part of the firewall deal. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I'll figure it out. Okay, so that's a little fugly. Got some crappy welds, but whatever. That's just, uh, so I just cut that hole for the electrical. So that way the electrical bulkhead can come through. Goes right next to that guy. Again, it's, it's fugly, but I'm not really super worried about it. This cover mounts over that. And I still got room for 
whatever that airline is, I can't remember. And then all those airlines come out. So now the bulkhead can get all installed for the steering column, all the brackets for that. I got a place for the electrical to come through. I don't remember what this hole was. Um, I'll have to look and see on my pictures and see if I can remember what that was, but start putting the pedals back in. Now. Okay, so working on the fun stuff. Steering wheel is in, brake pedals in, throttle pedals in. Uh, I gotta find a nut for that throttle cable, but that's hooked up. Uh, started mounting air brake, um, manual throttle, and then the kill cable. And this whole bracket is in, kind of hard to, kind of hard to see with that big bright light coming through. Stand by. Oh, there's light everywhere. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so this big bracket's in. Oh, I missed a bolt. Um, steering linkage is all hooked up. So now we are at the point of just doing electric so um, i need to find a spot to put this light switch which is probably going to be over here somewhere yeah probably over here somewhere and then i'd put the gauges in hold on one second Ugh. kind of hard to get into this thing i set the gauge up there the gauge cluster and it's freaking terrible it is horrible like what the heck is going on with this phone? here we go so it takes up like three quarters of the dash i'd have to cut out so much of this board dash to get this thing in here oh Terrible, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. Look how big that thing is. It's literally as big as the Ford Dash. Ugh. I just don't know what to do. I really don't want to cut that much of the Ford Dash out, but I also would like to have all those gauges and not have to mess with it's all electronic. And there's only two. There's an oil pressure, uh, oil pressure main. That's a analog gauge, and then the air pressure for the uh, primary and secondary systems. But everything else in here, I mean, even the odometer, is uh, electronic. So to, go, to get all that to work, get all that to work the way it needs to, oh man, that sucks. So I still don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, that, that gauge is going in there regardless, but I just don't know how, how I'm going to do it. So anyways, I think the next step is uh, I'm going to get that throttle bolt oh that's the other thing so i kind of forgot that uh kind of forgot adding an inch and a half or five and a half inches to the height of this cab makes a mess of the cables so i've got most of the cables to work but um the transmission kick down cable this guy it is not happy. It is such a tight bend. And there's no play down there. I'll have to climb in there and look. But uh, it does not like being where it's at. It just binds everything up, which that's not good. That's got to that's gotta work the way it needs to. So not really sure what to do there. I'm going to have to call and see if they have the same. And that's a funky cable, too. That's not just a regular cable so i have to call them and see if they make a longer cable with that version maybe in a different body i'm not really sure so that's where we're at
Figure I better post a video before it gets too dark here. So, standby. I got uh, the electrical harness is pretty much just hanging there with the exception of the stuff behind the dash itself or behind the instrument panel. Um, so that's done and in place. Um, oops, there we go, yep. Uh, I gotta hang this still, so drill a couple. Stop it. Sorry, I, I remember I, I think I might have mentioned I'm not a very good uh, cinematographer. Uh, but anyways, so we'll uh, we'll take that mount back there. I want to see where that factory heater mounts here though uh, before I plug that in in a spot. Um, I just got the shifter mounted. Uh, I'm working on tying the cable in now. Had to cut the Ford dash out unfortunately, but uh, uh, you know, you know the story. Um, tapped and re-drilled or <laughs> drilled and re-tapped these holes. Air brake is in place, throttle's in place, ignition, because, you know, why not? Um, and then this is the engine kill. Um, so everything is, uh, everything's in place. Steering wheel's done. I think I already mentioned that earlier. Um, oh, I do have to replace the, uh, the transmission. It's called a modulator. It's a mechanical modulator cable. Um, because I raised the cab up five and a half inches, it doesn't read. It's too short. Realistically, it's too short. So it can't tie into the throttle uh, throttle pedal to get down the kick down signal for the transmission shifter. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, watch this. Truck runs, um, almost drivable. Um, I did not build those motor mounts yet, or those, uh, I don't know why I keep calling this thing motor mounts, body mounts. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with this. Um, two reasons. One is, um, I don't remember what this looked like, what angle this was at on the Ford. I'm betting they were at like a solid 45 degree angle because the more vertical they are, the more chance there is for the cab to sway. Um, so I think I may end up putting the uh, um, brackets for those on top of the frame here. And then I think I'm just gonna build these out of just tube. I'm just gonna take some you know, one inch tube or something and cut an end off and cope the end, cope the length that I need and weld them back together and just make these out of one inch tube. Because if I put these down here, um, if I put them down here, you know, those suckers, down to that point, those things are almost vertical. That's like a 70 degree angle, so I don't really, well, maybe less than that, but I don't really want those, I don't want the chance for the cab to rock back and forth. So I've got plenty of room up top. I can put the bracket up top, keep those at like a 45 degree angle, and that's gonna lock the cab in a lot better. So I didn't really get time for that, but uh, my goal was to get everything mechanically tied in. So um, electric is in place, I just gotta, Mount that guy. Air brakes all are all are in place. Wiring is all lined up. Uh, starter solenoid. Um, like I said, I'm running cables. Throttle cable was good um, as far as length goes. That wasn't a problem at all because I mean you can see how much length there was. So golden on that. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to have a a new modulator cable. I mean look at the radius on that. It uh, it connects but it binds up so bad. That's just too tight of a radius. So I think I'm gonna have a company build one, build me one that's you know, five inches, eight inches, 10 inches, whatever, longer than, uh, longer than it needs to be. Um, uh, I got the bolts in the front body mount, so that's done. So uh, we're, we're getting close. Get those rear body mounts in. Um, still not really sure what to do with the doghouse. Now that I've got it in place, I can feel under here. It's actually just touching the insulation. So I'm thinking what I may do is just get rid of the insulation right there. I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in uh, like a Dynamat product anyway. 
Um, so I might end up wrapping that with like a bubble wrap insulation type thing. Uh, I'm not real sure yet. Foil face type of deal. I just didn't want to build this out, uh, you know, those two inches or whatever, because that just kind of sucks. I'd rather build this up. I'd rather build the floor up. Um, I've got the factory forward uh, pan, so of course I'll put that back in there. But then I can just build this section up however I need. Um, and that keeps the doghouse closer to the firewall anyways, uh, just to provide more leg room. So, uh, so there's the interior, um, the dash part, man, that really, really, really sucks. Uh, I think what I probably may end up doing, uh, as much as I hate to say it is, uh, take this factory, factory piece and cut it up and maybe, oh, I want to put that filter minder in there too somewhere. I don't even know if I have room for that. The uh, four dashes. <laughs> it's it's so much smaller than this. It's funny. Um, and then uh, let's see what else. Uh, anyways, I'm thinking I may take this piece section out and basically cut it into the Ford. Um, ugh, God, I hate that idea. Uh, basically, just slice that box out set that piece in there, find the angle that I like it at, and weld it all the way around, and then that'll, the gauges will just drop right in. Um, I still, like I said, I hate that idea, but uh, gotta have gauges. I guess you don't have to have gauges, but whatever. I want those gauges. Um, so that's where we're at. We're getting real close. It was uh, kind of a short weekend. Mother's Day, spent the day with Mama today, yesterday. Um, what did I do yesterday? Oh, oh yesterday I did all the, all the, uh, throttle linkage and all that stuff so uh yeah that's where we're at yep getting closer oh boy it's gonna hang those up Ah! <laughs> 